Good evening, everyone. Good evening, and welcome to Don't Tell Mama. And now, Don't Tell Mama is very proud to present Mr. Stephen Hanks. carrying members of the woke mob. I'm glad you're all here. Um, so I want to welcome you all to, unbelievably, this is the 11th Blue Wave Cabaret Variety fundraising show for Democratic candidates or voting rights organizations. I stand before you a proud, patriotic progressive. I would have loved to have come up with some more P words because I love alliteration, but I didn't want to overdo it. Um, truth be told, the main reason why I decided to produce another Blue Wave show this year was so I could once again show off my Blue Wave show. <laughs> These only come out for these shows. I don't, I don't wear them in Sedona because the Sedona is the Red Rocks. Unfortunately, they're very Republican rocks. Um, all seriousness aside, these shows were launched with five shows during the 2018 midterm campaign season, and the Democrats flipped 40 seats in the House that year. And me and my compadres, that will be up here singing for you are taking all the credit for that. Yeah. Then we staged five more shows between early 2019 and May 2020. And overall, we've raised more than $6,000 for candidates and voting rights organizations. Now, that might not sound like as much money as Donald Trump paid to Stormy Daniels. <laughs> I just couldn't resist. Mm -hmm. But as all of you know, every small donation counts. Also, I think I can speak for more, the more than 30 performers, the four music directors, and all of our audience members during these shows that doing them has been a cathartic experience that has been good for our souls. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not supposed to start one more both individually and collectively. The people that are gonna be on this stage tonight are not just going to perform to raise funds for Democratic candidates, but to make a statement about and support the principles and issues we all believe in. Yeah. And uh, I'll show you a little sample of what we all believe in. Can you see this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. I'm glad I could finally put that shirt to good use. I haven't yeah. worn it yet. Um, so what do we all believe in? You saw some in there, but I'll give you a short list. And, you know, there's probably more. A woman's right to control her own body. Yes. Sensible gun safety laws. Yes. Free and fair elections. Yes. LGBTQ plus rights. Yes. Doing what we can to minimize climate change. Yes. Humane immigration policies. And freedom from tyranny and protecting the democracy. Ladies and 
gentlemen, my humble opinion, we are in an existential fight against what I call the unholy political trinity of white supremacy, Christian nationalism, and a right-wing American version of a Russian oligarchy that is threatening to destroy our democracy, and they must be stopped. Yes. And stopped with this 2024 election. Yeah. Now I'm gonna give you some good news. You don't have to take this to the bank, but I'm betting on it. Joe Biden, who no matter what anybody says, has been a great president, yeah. 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 will be re-elected. Yeah. Hey, I was a political science major in college. I know this stuff. <laughs> I actually have a couple of my college friends in the audience, a few of them, who I go back with on my college newspaper. They knew me when I was the president of the student government at Urban H. Lima College in the Bronx. They know I know this stuff. Now, so, but, you know, in order to stop the authoritarian and draconian plans of the extreme right, and their pathological lying sociopath puppet Donald Trump intend for this country, and that's what he is, I mean, let's face it. I'm sure they'll be going after me tomorrow. <laughs> Democrats must keep the Senate majority and take back that current clown show that is the House of Representatives. And the reason this year's Blue Wave Show theme is New York and Save Our Democracy is because one of the big reasons that we didn't take the House in 2022, although thanks to the Blue Wave Show, it was really close, <laughs> is that Republicans won district races in our great state, and it still is mine. I may be in Arizona, but I'm still a New Yorker. They won those district races that Joe Biden won in 2020. Something was wrong there. So here are the candidates we are raising money for tonight. And so what I'm going to suggest is that in addition, now what we do with these shows is we take the proceeds and divide them among the candidates that we're supporting. In this case, there are four. And there's one other one that I have to mention, even though unfortunately it could be a foregone conclusion that this person will win their race. I wish it wasn't so, but anyway, here they are. In New York District 4, the Democrat Laura Gillen. <laughs> okay, charge that woman extra. Um, she's running against the Republican incumbent Anthony Esposito. The Esposito. I was thinking of Phil Esposito, the old hockey player. I don't know. <laughs> D. Esposito, thank you. In 2017, Laura became the first Democrat to be elected to Hempstead Town Supervisor in 112 years. Wow. Okay. New York 17. The Democrat is Mondaire Jones. He's running against Republican incumbent Mike Lawler. New York 18. The Democratic incumbent is Pat Ryan. This is a de de Democrat who is in office. He's, his challenger is a woman named Allison, Allison Esposito. Wow. So, the, I, Anthony D. Esposito. Right, Anthony D. Esposito, Allison Esposito. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. New York 19, the Democrat running is Josh Riley versus Republican Independent Mark Molinaro. Yeah. All of these, by the way, either lean Democrat or a toss ups. Um, and number 22, New York 22. Democratic State Senator John Mannion or Sarah Cleehood, they have to run in a primary against each other for the winner, uh, will be running against Republican incumbent Brandon Williams. So those are the five races that we're gonna send money to. And if we flip most of them or all of them, we're gonna have the house back. Yeah. <laughs> And there's one, other, there's one other race I just have to mention because this is, and I hate to say this, this is a woman that I hate with a passion. And I hate hating on women. 
Republican incumbent in District 21, Elise Stefano. Oh. Her Democratic challenger is Stephen Holden. And, you know, there, I think there's another primary battle that's going to brew over there. There's two people ready for it. It's going to be tough. But, um, but if, boy, if we can beat her, oh, God. I will sleep well at night. So, with that said, now, as you know, uh, the structure of almost all cabaret shows is to offer thank yous before the finale, but I'd like to do a bunch of acknowledgments now before I start introducing the performers. First, I can't thank this person enough for all the support from the beginning that we started this series in this room. This is our eighth Blue Wave show at Don't Tell Mama. Ladies and gentlemen, the man, the performer, the legend, Sidney Mon. <laughs> By the way, I, I asked him to introduce me, uh, and he declined because he figured the show was going to run over two hours anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I just scared the hell out of him saying that. Um, now, there may be 16 incredible women on this stage uh, that will be on this stage, but the two most important women to me are in the audience. And they've supported me every step of the way. My wife B and my daughter yeah. Jill. Gene, if the Rangers score a goal while I'm on this stage tonight, please give me a signal. To <laughs> you know, I mean, I can't, I'll have to. I want to thank, I don't, I don't know if he's here tonight, but the man who produced all the promotional material for every Blue Wave show and performed in an 8, 2018 show that we did, Jeff McCauley. Yeah. Yeah. My dear friend, who not only composed the original series theme song, The Great Blue Wave, during our 2018 shows, but who also music directed one of those 2018 shows, and will be playing a number tonight that he co-wrote with cast member Lane Bradbury, my friend, the great Michael Roberts. <laughs> I want to thank the man with the video camera in the back, Michael Stevens. And, and before I forget, in case you didn't hear the instructions about photography and you don't use flash, please you know, take a couple of photos of the show. And text them to me. Oh, sorry, that's it. Oh, God, did we just lose a prop? Yeah. Okay. And of course, I want to thank every performer and music director who has ever been a part of this series, but there is one member of the Blue Wave family who should be here tonight, who wanted to be here tonight, who back in February when I put the call out, committed to doing this show for what would have been her sixth time as part of the cast. Our show tonight is dedicated to the late, great Sarah Russ. <laughs> we were all thinking about and miss more than you can imagine. Sarah would even come here, when, come to the shows when she wasn't performing and sell her little bath soaps out front. <laughs> Her scented bath soaps. <laughs> and now it's time to finally get these women onto the stage. I'm sure you all noticed the program on your tables. I did that because I can't possibly offer the individual intros that these ladies all deserve before their songs. Or this show would run longer than the Mac Awards. <laughs> so I hope you'll read about their performing accomplishments. Go see them when they perform their own shows. I'll be introducing them. I'll be introducing them as they as right one after another with like little little intros, um, so we can keep this thing moving along. 